There's a poem from John O'Donohue that I think really speaks to being an apprentice to sorrow. He writes, there are days when you wake up happy again inside the fullness of life until the moment breaks and you're thrown back onto the black tide of loss. Days when you have your heart back, you're able to function well until in the middle of work or encounter, suddenly with no warning, you're ambushed by grief. It becomes hard to trust yourself. All you can depend on now is that sorrow will remain faithful to itself. More than you, it knows its way and will find the right time to pull and pull the rope of grief until that uncoiled hill of tears has reduced to its last drop. Gradually, you will learn acquaintance with the invisible form of your departed. And when the work of grief is done, the wound of loss will heal and you will have learned to wean your eyes from that gap in the air and be able to enter the hearth in your soul where your loved one has awaited your return all the time. So embedded in grief is love. It's a loving presence. It's not tied to time and space. I felt it so many times in grieving my parents. I'd feel the grief and the loss and then the loving that nothing can remove. So I'd like to close with a, a brief meditation. This is an invitation to open to sorrows and to grief. And you might practice it on your own and take more time with it. Um, but this is a, a simple core practice in becoming an apprentice to sorrow, deepening on the path of freedom. So take a moment to, again, come into stillness and perhaps close your eyes or let your eyes be downcast. Feeling your breath and feeling your body. And let your intention be to attune to some loss that might call you. It can be a loss that you're facing or that's already occurred. And as we did earlier, noticing any of your vulnerability management strategies, just noticing if you've been in some way denying that this loss is there, or blaming yourself or others, addictiveness, numbing. And just for now, deepen your attention with real curiosity, with care, and sense what's been lost. Sense what you're facing, what you might be unwilling to feel. And the R of RAIN is to recognize what's there. So you might just name whatever you're aware of, fear, sorrow, grief, numbness. You can whisper it. The allowing is just to make room for it to be here right now. You might say this belongs like a wave in the ocean. Just let it be. It's not forever you're letting it be. You're just saying for now. That allow you to begin the eye of rain, investigate, and just sense into what's the most difficult part of this. What it is that makes you fearful, or sad, or feeling empty or upset. In other words, what's most asking for your attention, your acceptance? 
And it may be the straightforward pain of the loss, the missing, the pain of separation. Your heart knows. And just sense how loss is living in your body. And to help you access it, you might let your face and your posture express it. Feel right into where there's the most vulnerability. And with continued care, interest, sense what this vulnerability is asking for, what kind of a nurturing presence, how does it want you to be with it? Is it understanding, company, forgiveness? compassion, love, acceptance. Staying in touch with the place of vulnerability, but also calling forward so that you can feel your high self, your most awake heart, and just offer that acceptance, that love. Offer what's needed in this moment. And if that's difficult, you might call on a spiritual figure or somebody that expresses wisdom and love, your ancestors, Whatever can help you in offering care, presence, acceptance to the vulnerability inside. Just let it be bathed with that caring presence. Sensing the possibility with whatever is arising right now, offering a nurturing presence. And after the rain, we simply notice the quality of the presence that really is right here. More openness, more tenderness. You might sense who you are when there is that unconditional presence with the life that's here. You might intuit the heart space, the vast, empty, radiant heart space where there's no self or other. And when the work of grief is done, the wound of loss will heal And you will have learned to wean your eyes from that gap in the air and be able to enter the hearth in your soul where your loved one has awaited your return all the time.
wishing you all blessings. Namaste.